Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hippy Dippy. We are doing an anime review. Now then, we're doing a channel. It's the anime review of a channel. It's sub, so you have to watch it in Japanese. But, you know, I, I, I'm starting to understand why sub is better. But I'm also understanding that when you watch more and more sub, they some of the words that the Japanese people say, some of it's kind of like in English. So it's like whoa they 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 sprinkle English words here and there on the episodes of the anime, which is kind of fucking funny. But a channel basically it's four four girls that are going to high school basically it's a slice of life. But the main reason why I'm reviewing this is because there's thirteen episodes. There's eleven episodes or twelve episodes that are two minutes. I still have to watch that, but I'm not gonna include it in this anime unlike um uh, the one that has 106 episodes that are two minutes but the main reason why i have to say that this anime well, let's first off go off with the characters the main character is a stupid fucking idiot i mean i've seen that trope so many fucking times but they make her like a fucking idiot i mean she cracks fucking there's one episode when she was trying to make fucking pancakes and when she was trying to crack the egg she decided to, like, you know, break the freaking eggs, but also keep the shells in the eggs. So that's another thing. And also, when she tips over the bowl, she accidentally she did, puts it on her friend on purpose. And then when she finds, when she sees that, she does it to herself as well, which is fucking, which is fucking stupid. But you know what? That's fine. She did, I don't know how the fuck she got into the high school in the first fucking place. She must have fucking cheated. But anyway, the second character is the character that is, I feel like she's in love with her. She acts, she looks like a fucking elementary school kid. She's a year younger, so she doesn't know the other two characters until she, the, her friend introduced her. Because they were friends before they went to the school. The, the dumbass went to school with the other ch girl, the elementary school kid. Because she looks like an elementary school kid. They make a joke about it because of... Um, uh, they went to the beach once. And her she gives her a bathing suit. That is her elementary school form. And she gets all the press. And it's fucking sad really. Um, so yeah. But she's the one who's smart at school. She's also not very nice to everyone. Except for her friends. Because reasons. And also the fact that she does do... She does do, she also has a lot of character development of being a nice person. She's also in love with the main character who's a stupid idiot. She also, this, the girl that's a stupid idiot has, has her, she has a big giant fucking forehead. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because I'll get to the character of, of that when I get to it. Now then, the th third character, there's pretty much nothing else to say. I mean, she's a freshman, she's a year behind. And the fact that... You know, she's always, like, happy and stuff, but, you know, whatever. Um, the third character is a book. She has glasses. She thinks that she's smart. She is smart, but the problem is, though, is the fact that she is more concerned about her weight. And she also wants to be a model. Which is kind of fucking funny. But, you know what? It happens. Trying to be a model in a fucking anime that's, like, really, really fucking... You know, stuff like that and that and the other thing. Is really good. Um, the main issue with her, though, is the fact that she tries to plot seeds of taking jabs at her fucking friends. Which, that's not technically a friend. That's just being an asshole, to be honest with you. <laughs> and then you got your fourth friend, who is just there for comic relief. And all the other three friends make fun of her. Um, let's see. The stupid idiot likes to take shots at her from time to time. Um, the girl with the glasses tries to freaking scare the shit out of her by going to, to the school at night. And the elementary school kid tries to, um, I don't know, in the beginning part, all she wants to do is touch her fucking big boobs, because she does have big boobs. And she also, they also make fun of her because she doesn't gain any weight, she looks like a fucking model, and everyone wants to, you know, she's also really... Smart and really good athlete, athletic sports. 
Which is kind of fucking funny, because most of the girls that have big boobs are fucking idiots. I've seen my fair share of anime, except for High School DxD, but that's beside the point. Um, I, I label that as whatever. That being said, though, um, let's go into the side characters. This is the side characters. We've got the guy who's the nurse. Yeah, usually the nurses are usually girls with big boobs, but this is not the case. It's the nurse is a guy, which is perfectly fine. The problem is, though, is that everyone suspects him of being a creeper because he is in love with Ren's forehead. Ren is the girl main character of the story. He likes to see her, her fucking forehead, and it's fucking cre creeps me the fuck out. I don't know why. He does it through the entire show, and this, that, and the other thing. And he's just weird, especially when he wears a fucking Hawaiian t-shirt to fucking, you know, public places, which is kind of fucking weird. And you got the teacher, who is like, you know... Then you got her, her um, uh, the three, the freshman girl's teacher. She is annoying as fuck. She's always happy. She, you, know, you ever have those teachers where they're like hypergenic and trying to motivate kids to do good in school and this, that, that's her. And then you got the sophomore, the three sophomore teacher who's lazy as fuck, which is fucking funny. I, th I like that. I like teachers who just don't give a shit about fucking school and they just let the students do whatever the fuck they want. I thought that was fucking hilarious because it remnants what teachers are today. You're, that you're hypergenic and motivating your kids, or you're just too fucking lazy to do shit, and you just it's like half at it. Um, other than that, though, there's other, there's only other two other main characters. One, and they're both fan, because because of the fact that the girl who looks like an elementary school kid, she's really smart and she has fans, and they're in the same grade as her. The problem is though, is the fact that they have issues as well. I mean, seriously, they do have issues as well. That's the main issue with that. But I, I won't get into them because they don't really do anything. Although they do ignore the hell out of her and it's fucking funny. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, here's where it gets interesting. The episodes are good. They're mostly your slice of life comedy routines type of shit. It's not like it's like bad or good. But I had one prob one major problem with this anime, and that is is the fact that they do when when you hear music, you think that the anime is done, but it's not cuz they put most of the episodes, not all of them cuz some of them did not have this. But most of the episodes between at the time of between sixteen minutes and twenty two minutes, it was like one song in there and they're singing it, and then once that's over with, they're still playing the episode and then the end ending credits roll and that and that infuriated me. That pissed me off because I felt like I was you know, they were just wasting time on that and that's the main issue with that issue. With that being said, though, there are some other things that I did not like. The comedy was sporadic. It wasn't like your run-in-the-mills anime. It wasn't, like, fun, funny as hell like the other one. But the main issue with the this anime is the fact that I did not... I enjoyed it, but it, it was like an anime where I didn't want to watch it again. It's not like one of those animes. See, when I review an anime, if I don't want to watch it again, then it gets a low scoring because I'm not going to watch it again. And the only anime that I can understand why I don't want to watch it again is sports, as the genre of sports anime because I learn more about the sports than the stuff itself. Here's the problem with this anime. It's... Got issues, literally. I mean, there's no substance. Most of the characters, most of the side characters, you know, they're running the mills, blah, blah, this. I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. And when I give it, see, now, if you make it past this point of this anime review, I'm going to tell you this right now. If I give an anime a 10 through an 8, you must watch it immediately because I think it's fucking good, no matter what genre it is. 
If it's a 765, you can I still recommend it highly, but be but I'm not gonna say watch it immediately because it doesn't have well seven or six. Watch it, but don't watch it immediately because that's what I think it's gonna be. Five, four, and three. I still recommend it, but the problem is is that you should be very cautious with it because there might be stuff that you don't like about it. A two or a one or zero, because I have gotten animes that I've given zeros to, like Sushi Ninja, Jesus Christ. I felt like I wasted nine minutes of my fucking time watching that fucking bullshit. Um, I don't recommend it whatsoever. That means that there are a lot... I don't usually agree fours. I don't get usually give a two, one, or zero that often. But when I do, it means that I think it sucks, which I'm probably gonna do that to the anime of the other uh, one Pacific anime. But I'll wait until that happens. This anime gets a five. I do recommend it, but you need to be wary of the jokes and stuff like that. With that being said, though. Make sure, be cautious. The only reason why I say that is because there are some scenes where there is nudity. So be wary of that, but they don't show any tits, which is good. Um, it's just like that anime. Um, it was one of those animes where they, sh it was no game, it's it's like no game in life. No game no life shows boobs, but they don't show the tits because of what game they're playing, which that was fucking funny. I love No Game No Life. That anime was fucking dope. I wish they had a second season, but apparently not because fuck it. They do have a movie, which that should be interesting. Now then, with that being said, though, um, before I end this anime review, I would like to ask you guys a question. Do you want me to review anime movies as well? Because I still need to watch those. At some point. And the fact that I have a list of anime movies. That I have to watch immediately. Already. But I'm not going to give my. I'm not going to give it a rating. Because they're just movies. And I'm just going to tell you what I think about it. With that being said though. The next anime review. Will probably be the kids anime. Which it probably won't. Because I'm starting to get bored of it. And the fact that it has a lot of flaws. Which makes no sense. Even if I was a kid. It makes no fucking sense. But I'm going to watch it, and I hope you guys have a nice, positive day, and take care. Um, I'm having a happy day. Um, the only thing I have an issue with is that uh, I'm starting to run out of anime ideas. To I'm starting to run out of animes to watch. <laughs> I mean, I do have my list of animes that I've started and fin haven't finished yet. But that list is probably more longer than usual, so yeah. I hope you guys have a nice positive day and take care. Peace out, bitches.